In part one of Density Lab, we want to determine whether or not density has any effect on an object's ability to float. To do that, we have to find the mass and the volume of the object. Let's use the triple beam balance to find the mass of the rubber stopper and the cork. First step is to zero out the scale. Place the rubber stopper on the pan and find the mass, moving the biggest rider first, then the medium rider, and finally the smallest rider. With the scale balanced, add up all the readings on the riders. Put that mass on your data table under the column for mass. To find the volume, we use a graduated cylinder. We want to use the most accurate one, but the object has to fit in it, so this 10 milliliter is no good. The 50 is good, and the 100 milliliter is good. Out of these two, we want the more accurate one. The scale on this one is 2. To go up 60 to 80, there are 10 lines. Each line's worth 2 milliliters. This one, to go up 30 to 40, there are 10 lines. Each line's worth 1. So the 50 milliliter, milliliter graduated cylinder is the more accurate graduated cylinder. Now it's time to take our first volume. Get eye level and be as accurate as you can be. The first volume goes under the column for first volume on your data table. We carefully slide the object in so that the water level rises. Don't splash any water out of the graduated cylinder. Now we take our second volume. Put this volume on your data table. To find the volume of the object, we take the second volume and subtract the first volume. Now we have mass and volume, so density is the mass divided by the volume. Make sure you put your unit grams per milliliter. We can now repeat the process for the cork. Zero out the scale. Put the cork in the center of the pan. Move the largest rider first, then the medium rider, and finally the smallest rider. With the scale in balance, Add up each rider and put this value on your data table under mass for the cork. Now we measure the volume using a graduated cylinder. Get eye level with the graduated cylinder and take your first volume reading. Put that on your data table under first volume. Carefully put the object in the water. You can see in this case, the object doesn't sink. It's floating. It's not totally underwater. So the volume reading will not be accurate. We need to have the whole object underwater. So what we can do is use an object like a pen and push it underwater. But too far underwater, and you're taking the volume of the pen. We don't want that. So we're going to push the object just below the surface and take our reading. Be as accurate as you can be. Find the volume by subtracting the second volume and the first volume. The density is the mass divided by volume. Now we can compare the density of the rubber stopper and the cork and make a conclusion.